the crackle of the flames behind her walls were almost soothing. A shadow fell on her. You let her go. Her walls opened her eyes. Brother Tone's cloak was soaked with gore, the wet fabric sinking into the gaps between his pauldrons and breastplate. His hood had fallen back, his face covered in blood so that he looked made of red, save the bright blue of his eyes. This is what a devil looks like. This is what you see before they take you. You let her go. Now Helwaz realized that he was speaking to her father. Tone shifted the flail from his shoulder into his hands, swinging the head. I see the portal in your eye now. You are a gateway to hell, wizard-tainted. You betrayed the Emperor. And you don't have your village mob to help you now. He's going to kill my father. The pilgrim's flail swept before him as he raised the shaft. She was just a little girl. Brother charged toward her father. Hawaz was frozen with fear. The clash of shafts overhead jolted her onto her backside. Her father and Brother Tone's knuckles were white on their lengths of wood. Hawaz scrabbled over the roots and rocks, heedless of the thick wetness that covered everything. You dare! Tone pressed the flail haft in and down, trying to free the spiked head enough to swing it at him. Hawaz's hand closed on a loose rock. Small as it was, she swung it down on the top of Brother Tone's boot. Sacred throne! The leather was so hard that she might as well have struck iron. But Tone looked down, eyes leaving Samson's for just a moment. And then Brother Tone was falling back, reaching out with the flail to stop himself from landing on his back. Her father followed him, holding his staff like a pike. The pole struck Tone's cheek. The great cloak tangled in the pilgrim's arm. And Tone stumbled back, finally stopping his fall with the flail. A dark bruise was already showing on his face, blood trickling from the corner of his mouth. Hawaza's father came after him, trying to keep him off balance. But the pilgrim had his wind now and knocked the pole aside. Samson rocked back on his heels and slid smoothly into a wide stance, holding the pole over his head, pointing at the pilgrim. You killed a little girl, you bastard. Tone looked at Samson's stance. You're a veteran, aren't you? Come on, damn you! This isn't the old war, and that's not a pike. He spun the flail's head. And he's not alone! Sigir stepped out of line, holding his pole just like her father. Brother Tone looked left and right. He was wearing armor, and his spiked flail looked a lot stronger than the wooden poles. So be it. Hi. Barnard stepped out of the line, raising his own pole. So be it, pilgrim, and may the sacred throne bear witness. Brother Tone's eyes widened, then narrowed. He walked backward, ignoring Barnard and Sagir, looking at the man who had given him the bruise. I'll be back for you. Then he turned and disappeared into the wood. <laughs>